Congratulations on your purchase of a Little Giant Extreme. You will love this ladder. And we're gonna make it just as simple as possible. If you'll remember that there are only two things that make this ladder operate. Number one is the hinge, and that's what creates the shape of the ladder. The second is the rock lock, and that's what creates either the height or the length of the ladder. This is how you'll store it. To make the ladder into an A-frame, you'll just simply squeeze these palm buttons in with the palm of your hand, and that releases the hinge lock. Opening the ladder up, that will lock into position, but be sure that those hinge locks are seated correctly. And then to make the ladder taller, we're gonna squeeze these rock locks in, again, just with the palm of my hand, until they're out, and then lean the ladder, let gravity do as much work as possible, and bring that to the hole or the rung that's right for the job. So I can make the ladder different sizes, depending on what my needs are. Come over to this side, and again, hand over hand, just make it the size that you need. Making sure that this rock lock is completely seated. Now the ladder's ready to use. This is a great time to plug the air deck into the top. Of course, it's a great place to put tools and paint and screwdrivers, putty knives, etc. We'll lock this in at the top. Again, make sure that that's locked completely, and now you have a place to hold as you climb up higher on the ladder, utilizing that comfort step so you're comfortable, and now you have a place to put your tools and equipment here on top. So again, you're safe because you have something to hold on to, a place to put your tools, and a lot more comfortable than a traditional step ladder because you have 120 square inches to stand on. Of course, you can utilize that air deck by making these legs independent. This is going to allow you to use it on a hillside. Again, just by offsetting these legs one rung or two rungs different than the other. So by making one side longer, one side shorter, we're ready to tackle any job. It's so safely being able to adjust these legs independently. Bring this down to the floor and then just hand over hand, make these legs exactly the length that you want. This is what I would need just for a step or two up my driveway, inside your flower bed. Again, make sure that these rungs are completely locked and safe for you to use. If we were on a level surface, this is a great way for you to sit inside the tight corners of a room just by bringing it down to that rung. This allows me to climb up one side, but again, be square over here on the other. Again, something for me to hold on to. The wall or the window would be right in front of me, which eliminates any overreaching, make you safe, comfortable. Again, unlock these rock locks, supporting the weight of the ladder, and bring that down just one rung at a time. Same thing over here, release these rock locks, and again, let gravity do a lot of the work and bring that down to the rung that you want. Make sure that these rock locks are completely seated. And we can remove the air deck. We're ready to make it into an extension ladder. The easiest way to make it into an extension ladder, again, is simply by pushing in the palm buttons and creating the shape of the ladder first. Doing this in the ground or on the grass is always the best. Make sure that that hinge is completely seated. It's locked into place. And now we're going to telescope the legs to create the desired length. Completely seated. Simply flip the ladder over, butt this up against the foundation of your home, against a wall or a solid structure, and hand over hand, being able to get it exactly where I want it to be. Just reverse the process when you're done. Hand over hand. And by flipping that over, and telescoping these legs, I can put it back into its storage position.
One of my favorite parts of my little giant is when I take it apart to make it into scaffolding. Really easy to do. Again, unlock the rock locks. Just as if we were making the ladder taller, we're gonna keep going until that leg comes completely off. Do the same thing on this side. Again, until the legs come all the way off. Don't need to do anything more to the inner part of the ladder. Remember, this is only designed to be part of the scaffolding. This is never to be used as a separate step ladder. We're gonna set this off to the side as a separate trestle. Take these sections and we're going to add the trestle brackets. These came with the purchase of your ladder and you simply slip them inside the outer channel Locking these two sections together. Make sure that these rock locks are completely seated. Important to see that these tabs right here on those trussel brackets are on the outside. That flange is on the outside towards the rock lock. And now you're set up to go. Make sure that those rock locks are completely seated. And now you have a sturdy base. You could use a two by 12 piece of wood but what we recommend to complete your system is a little giant plank. We make these in a couple of different sizes. This particular one telescopes from six feet stored to nine feet long. And we could use this on anything but the top rung to stand on. The second rung down, the third, or obviously the bottom rung. This is a great way for you to paint walls, clean bigger windows in less time. By being able to have a scaffolding system, that covers a lot more area than just using a ladder, moving it a foot and a half, then using a ladder over again. Walk across a portable scaffolding system. It's a great way to get those jobs done. Again, just reverse the process when you put it away. Put your plank into its stored position and remove those trussel brackets. Reassemble your ladder and you're back to storage position. When you're reassembling the ladder, again, slide these legs back on. With the Little Giant Extreme, remember that the section that has the wheels goes on the opposite side of the section with the comfort step. The wheels are on the right, that comfort step's on the left. We slide the ladder back together. Make sure that those rock locks are completely seated. Again, unlock the hinge one more time, and now you're back to the storage position. If you made the decision to upgrade to the new ratchet levelers, let me show you how easy they are to operate. We're all in this situation, whether it's at the end of our driveway, the side of our yard, or down the slope of a hill, instead of grabbing a rock or a piece of wood, just simply push with your foot to find exactly what's level, and now you're safe to climb. Remember that you have the adjustments on the left and then you have quite a bit more adjustment on the right as well. And when you're ready to put this back in its storage position, just simply release and that spring assisted, it will slide back up into its housing and you're ready to put it away. The dual ratcheting levelers not only work on the A-frame position, but they also work on the extension ladder position. When you're in an unlevel spot and with the push of your foot, Extend that leg to the desired length and you're ready to climb on. If you purchase the fuel tank with your ladder, remember this will hold up to a gallon of liquid, whether it's soapy water for your windows, paint for your walls, you'll just roll right here off the front. It's made out of a new polymer that latex paint doesn't stick to, so just let that dry overnight and then within 48 hours, peel that latex paint right out. It mounts onto your ladder a couple of different ways. Take advantage of these portals again where that air deck goes in and with those included arms or accessories, just plug that right into those portals where the air deck goes. Or my favorite place is where I use it in tandem with the air deck. Plugging the air deck into place. Notice that these corners right here, these squares, that's designed to receive the fuel tank. Remember to use those secure locking plugs on the back side to hold that weight. And the reason that I like it up here is because when I'm up here high on this ladder, being able to put my feet on the comfort step, 
The fuel tank is right up here near, near my belt and it eliminates any unnecessary climbing up and down the ladder. Use that fuel tank, it's a great accessory. If you purchased a wingspan wall standoff with your little giant ladder, this is how we'll put it on. After you've extended the ladder in the extension ladder position, we'll assemble the wingspan. The arms just simply slide into this housing. You'll see that spring-loaded button pop into place. You'll do the other side the same way. And now we're ready to install it on the little giant ladder. It's designed to go on one of the top two rungs of the extension ladder. And by putting that in the middle of that rung and now clamping this butterfly nut into place, you're ready for that wingspan to stand you away from a window, an eave, an overhang. You'll never lean your little giant ladder against the gutters again.